Thankfully, we already like, acquired everyone here, so we can just, uh, just go around stealing all their... Oh, God. Fucking hell. Homework... God. Not for... Si uh... We're gonna get all the steals. Need that. Need it. Oh, good. I got it. Good job, Therian. What do you have that I haven't gotten before? Angle Saber? Okay, cool. We do need to get a, like a certain item from somebody here for his quest. Let's see if we can find it. Actually, if I think I remember correctly, it was from the guy down south of us. Like, right at the I'm gate. Oh, I don't know why I'm talking to you. Oh, I can't challenge you? Shoot. Level 50. Oh, God damn it. All levels of Eric. Oh, he's like 11 levels lower than that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where it is then. I thought it would be here. Alright, uh... Alright, I got your stuff. That. I believe necklaces are the best category of accessory you can possibly get. I think that's one that gives like a plus 80s to stuff. It's like plus 80. I think Sprightly would be speed if I remember correctly. Alright, he's challenged this guy at least. So I can get that hidden item that's behind him finally. Alright, let's see how we do. I also gave Ulbrich second serving. So hopefully I'll come into play sometimes and do him twice. Help breaking him even easier. Oh, he has magic. Oh, shoot, he has magic. I give him a lot of physical defense, that not magic defense. You took the spears, awesome. Victory Go ahead and do thousand spears then. There we go. Right, go ahead and hit him with a, a true strike. So he's with the arrows. He is not, okay. Shoot. So we're not on apothecary, we can't heal ourselves. Uh go ahead and give yourself Actually don't do that. Just do this. Just do for the one turn. Alright, and then do a thousand spears. Please hit him five times. Got one short, of course it was one short. Alright, good. Just basic attack. That's no. fine. Uh, that real quick. Got evasion down. Awesome. Watch our attack ups now. Gone, which sucks. For cross strike. This little more damage than the bow did. Not a lot. We got that attack up still, though. Oh, God. Oh my god. Not expecting that. Unfortunately, that means he has 1 HP. Alright, uh, I'm almost sure we're gonna have to beat these guys up yet, then. Oh, there it is. Alright, I have to buy that, then. I'm not risking 3%. Steal for that. Talk to you now? Good day. We have met again, my friend. This is I, Sir Miles of the Knights of Dawn. I have been newly posted to this town in my service of the faith. And I have heard rumors. Rumors that a sword once belonging to my father remains still in this town. I hope I'll be able to at least glimpse it before I might be sent on my next mission. Guess what, guess what we found for you. This is my father's sword. Such heavy steel, just holding it, there is no doubting its strength. You there, where did you get that sword? This sword belonged to my father once. And you are? I was saved by the man who wielded that sword, so you are the son of that great hero. You, you knew my father? Oh aye, he saved the, my entire village long ago. 
when we were set up set up upon wide wild beasts. We had no one to help us, none but a traveling knight of the Knights of Daunt, who happened to come through our village. The village leaders begged that he might see us to safety. And that fine knight agreed at once. Not a soul perished. But he did not consider his duty then. His duty done then. He even entrusted his sword to the village. He instructed us to sell the fine steel and use the money to buy food and seeds. By the laws of the knights, I don't, a knight must never abandon his duty under any circumstances. And throwing aside one's sword, no matter how worthy the cause, is considered desertion of the cause. That is why I've heard, though that is what I've heard, and still a great man. He accepted such dishonor without hesitation, to aid perfect strangers such as ourselves. I sought to learn the sword myself because of your father. He is what made me into the man I am today. I was never able to rise to the heights of a not so daunt, but I'm able to keep clothes on my back at least, living as a hired sword. So that is the truth of it. My father saved the village. And for that, he was stripped of his cloak in his knighthood and declared a deserter. He was even, he was every inch of the great and honorable man I knew him to be. When a knight enters the knights are dawned, he swears an oath to protect those who seek the warmth and comfort of the sacred flame. Brought down by Elfric himself. The oath has not changed since the very first night I danced in the woods over the sword he received from the gods themselves. I I will swear on my own oath upon the sword of my father. To be a knight of honor like my father. Thank you, sir. At last I know the true measure of my father. Words cannot express my gratitude, but they are all I have to offer. Our darn attire. Just more equipment. Uh, I mean. I mean, it seems good. It's not as. Might be better than a dragon vest, maybe. Hold on. No. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's got elemental defense. And it gives us SP, but uh, we have this, which is way better. So, yeah, no. Unfortunately, it's completely outclassed. Oh, you're new. A mercenary working in Northridge, in order to repay a debt to the Knights of Dawn who saved his life, he wields a sword to protect the people. In actuality, he wished to become a knight, but failed the written exam. Wow, what an idiot! Couldn't even pass the written exam! <laughs> What her? My house, the great house of Byron, has a noble lineage. Not that many would know it, no, know, know it, know it now to look at us, how far we have fallen. I even had a part with a, with this precious ring that weighs, that was our family's heirloom. It seems our great house will truly end with me. Oh, really? Now, I got some information about your lineage that I don't remember because uh, it's been a while, probably, uh, since we got that uh, information. <laughs> you said that you researched the history of my house. That is a rather curious sort of hobby. Yes, we may be fitting into disgrace now, but at least the glory of our past will still, will live on in per perpetuity. What? What is that you say? No, no, surely not. But what you say is true. That my great forefathers were, were, lowly farmers working the field. They, they managed to raise themselves up from such humble beginnings to be one of the great houses of the land. It would appear that I have been mistaken about some things. I thought that being born into nobility was a gift that was mine by divine right. But I was born into such a position because of the hard work and sweat of my forebears. Effort, endurance, patience, that is what House Byron should be. I shall learn from those who came before me. I shall start over from nothing and show that I was I am as worthy as the first Byrons. 
After all, I have nothing more to lose now. I feel quite oddly free, in fact. Alright. More money and a sharp nut. There's one more quest we can accept here, but we can't do this well yet. Met. I traveled in search of, of tales and legends of the noble dragons, and I put them down in a book. Or I would, but my master has asked me to assist him with his own book. So I cannot yet set out to investigate the three great dragons of this world. Sorry. Could I ask you to perhaps assist me in my research? I went over the great dragons found in the Frostlands, Clifflands, and Highlands. I'd be greatly obliged if you could do this for me. Really, I would. I believe we got two of them already, being in Cobblestone and Stillstone. The last one is in Orwell, which we don't have access to yet. I mean, technically we do, but uh, I'd rather do get there when we actually have, you know... Are supposed to be there for Alfin's chapter 4. I could try fighting that dude with Haunted's monsters, but I really don't think she'd be able to do well. So we're gonna move on now back to Boulderfall, and then we're gonna go and finally get revenge on the god dang Starseer. Right. Oh. So it was you after all. Cheers, mate. How long has it been, Heathcote? You've gone so old. You're not spring chicken yourself. Well, I gotta remember his voice now. I, got, I managed to get in. It appears your skills aren't what they used to be. But it was a struggle to get that far, wasn't it? I doubt you could have gone another step. Or would you rather I attri attributed that to old age? <laughs> At least your sense of humor never gets old. But I'll be the one with the last laugh, Thief Colt. You see, I've already won. <laughs> My true aim was to get to you to see me. I knew this would be a perfect chance to take that cat's eye from you. You're never without it, after all. You fell right into my trap. <laughs> well, there he goes. <laughs> he hasn't changed a bit. Though he may not look like much, he was a notorious thief in his heyday. He and I were rivals in our youth, always aiming for the same treasure. Treasure, Jesus. And eventually, the heart of the same woman. She was like a beautiful maiden in a high tower, seemingly out of our reach. So we made a bet whoever could steal her beloved's cat's eye could steal her heart. Whoever lost would have to give up and leave the business forever. I emerged victorious and professed my love to her. But her heart was already set on another. That man, eccentric though he may be, as promised, he washed his hands of the business and ran away with her. I remember hearing a rumor that she passed away. It makes me wonder if he came to return the cat's eye to its proper owner. My apologies for rambling. Pops, I really am getting old. And we got Heathcote's dagger. Oh, uh. Oh, oh, it's better magic, but it's worse attack. Okay. So that would be really good on uh, Primrose then, probably. Or Cyrus, potentially. <laughs> Alright, as it turned out, the party I chose before was actually pretty bad. <laughs> it was not a good party, so I got my higher level dudes in here. Ophelia is now the classic Cleric Thief combo that's really good. Elfin's a warrior. Yeah. Cyrus is still Cyrus. It turns out that the Heathcote Dagger is quite powerful. <laughs> I don't know if I'm keeping that last attempt in or not. Depends on how long this episode ends up being with it in, so... Yeah. I mean, we didn't even get as far as I did on my own with a weaker party in levels, so... You know what? Yeah. I, did, I just did bad. Alright. Fuck the veils. Set these up right now. No, actually. Share SP right now with Alfin. So I decided to not give him SP saver. 
That way he can buff himself better. And I still want to try that thing with you, because I didn't get to try that yet. So, two side steps. And I'm going to try an SP thief. Or no, okay, you don't have that on you anymore. You're not a thief anymore. But still, I want to try that at least and smack her a couple times or something. Lightning Blast. Alright, Alpha, you need to heal that off of trust like right now, please. I rehabilitate. Thank you. I got just what you need. Well then. Alright. Uh go ahead and put up some reflective veils now on to I think Alphan probably suffers the most from magic damage. I'm not even certain sure he does. Bring it on! I don't want you getting murdered, so what you're gonna do instead is set up and poison, so get some chip damage in. Alright, let's see now. How does this work? It does! Oh my god, it works. I can get rid of her stuff that way. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, go ahead. I can figure out what she's weak to, though. So I can actually do that. So merchants and clerics are very good for this. Okay, that's fine. Then confuse Cyrus, just so that matters. I'll do my best. To do a lot of damage to him, though. All right, reflect a veil on. Since he's low health, I don't go to Cyrus. I do believe right. Tressa can still be healed above her max HP, which I had her set up to do that before. Uh, go ahead. Don't do, do this. Do normal and poison. Just keep doing that for now. Oh, I can do it again. <laughs> I can do it again. Why not? How many turns do you have now? I can't even tell. Where is it? There are four. Okay, it's four now. God damn it. I don't feel as confused. Well, now Ophelia is dead, so I don't worry about that now. <laughs> so is Cyrus. Five. Here goes nothing. Alright, uh, go so ahead. Do first aid, a bunch of stress up. Yeah, she does get healed above her max health. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright. Wanted to make sure, though. And first aid yourself. I'll do my best. Alright, you can keep putting up the reflective veils. I will respect your barb. We need to keep you alive best we can. Oh my god. Ah, she's going. She always goes first to every turn, which sucks, because I can't really do anything about that. Uh, you can put Reflective Veils too, actually, Tressa. So let's go ahead and put one back onto Alphen here, so he has so low health. And I'm not going to be able to heal him. I could have healed now, I realize, but whatever. Cyrus is probably just gonna die anyway, he's using his BP. <laughs> he's very likely just going to die anyway. Oh, cool. First aid yourself. There we go. Stop confusing people. Well, at least you killed her <laughs> after confusing her. At least you had the courtesy to do that much. That's what I'm here. I'm Sarah's defense, you can break her first thing next turn. Instead, you are just going to go ahead and uh, donate some BP to Ophelia, and I'll have her do the big reflective veil on someone. What is the logical course of action? Think not. What is the logical Go ahead, lightning blast. Here I go. Uh put three reflective veils onto Cyrus. Ophelia well, will put three reflective veils onto herself. I will reflect your barb. Elephant's gonna on. buff his attack. I'll save I did give him persistence, that way these will last longer when I do that. I'll have to spend BP on them at all. Oh, uh, you got that low health. I don't want to trust your thing missing, so cross strike. Ooh, you're weak to sword. That's a good reveal there. Not quite enough for max damage, unfortunately. I can't do that because I can't buff his attack. 
which sucks. That would be a great thing to be able to do. We weak to Blizzard now, too. Okay, good, good. My turn now. More weaknesses we can reveal, the easier this fight's gonna be. Uh, I'll have you do another sidestep, so I have them. And I'll have Ophelia, Ophelia heal us back up. And I think we'll be fine with this setup right now we have going for us. Oh, you get to go again. Okay, in that case, set up another reflective veil onto yourself. Okay, I'll have one now at least. Alright, still with the ice, that's good. Alright. All of our reflux are already gone. <laughs> so nobody's surprised. Wow, that was a lot though. That was a lot of those, so that was worthwhile just for that. Oh uh, yeah, I'll set up two on two different people. I think that's more worthwhile than four on one person. And those people are gonna be Trusta and Ophelia. <laughs> as long as they are alive, they can go. keep on setting them up. Alright, X? Alright, no. Go ahead and do a blizzard. Oh, I should try a spears too, because he has actually multi hit for that. Should have tried that then, that would be smarter. If that was actually gonna work. Uh, yeah, we need some Night Eye in, I guess. Try to get some speed ups. I did decide to bring him with me, too, just because. Lumber Slash. Didn't put him to sleep, though. Fortunately. Well, Alphid's dead. We did get some Reflux in, though. Some more damage on her. Alright, cool. She didn't have anything on her anyways. That's fine. We need to revive Alfin. We're running low on SP2, though. Uh, Blizzard. Alright, Alfin, go ahead and heal you. Actually, you know what? We're, oh, I don't have... Wait, I'm going to do last stand right here. This calls for There's all that dead. You have one health, Alfin. I thought I'd do a lot more. I am sorry. Uh, yeah, I go with her sidesteps. All right, it's whatever. My turn now. Uh, you're going first next turn, so we'll do a normal. I can't even afford to revive. All right, fine. Uh, just use a normal ass olive. Let me help. And do the big heal next turn with Tressa. Uh, you can go ahead and... Get some SP up. No the daggers, unfortunately, okay. Alright, we heal more. Get everyone back up. Get yourself up to 7,000, awesome. Alright, that's back now. Of course, I have to confuse Alfin. and uh. Well, Alright, where is it? Confusion. Have this. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not having Alfin kill us, please. <laughs> well, that gets for one reflex at least. And then even hurt Ophelia, which is good. Alright, uh. I could slowly break her with Icicle, so I guess I'll do that. Cool off. <laughs> oh my god, it's only 10 damage! Yeah, that's gonna be a very slow process if I do that. But, it's better than nothing. Alright, buffing herself. Go ahead and throw on some Reflective Veils with the Elfin, because he needs them the most to live. Yes, he picked Elf in the attack. Good. An interesting dilemma. Uh. I need Cyrus to keep trying to break her. I don't have. I can't but afford to have him do other stuff. Because he's the only one who's been slowly, really reaching towards that point. We can actually break her. Uh, how much does the Cyrus cost? Five. All right, we'll do that then. Alright, oh, I forgot you don't have the- oh my god. 
I need to pay attention to that, because it's the second time I've done that now. Once in the failed attempt, and once in this attempt. Okay. Uh, go ahead and ice... Oh, shoot, sorry. This is going last next turn. Uh, go ahead and first aid yourself, then. That'll do her. Alright, okay, good. Good, good, good. That's what I want to see. I want you to donate your goddamn SP to Cyrus. Trust can just not have it for a little bit. It's fine. I can use rest with her to get her SP back if I need to. Yeah. Alright, you go, Cyrus. Oh, uh, Cyrus. Elfin's freaking stuff. Uh. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Actually, no, this works fine. Cause Elfin can use Icicle and then Cyrus can break. So we're good on that at least. Uh, go ahead and put a reflective veil on the Cyrus. He's the only one who can have him now. We're gonna go ahead and rest to get your freaking SP back. Look at that, got 66 from that. That's very right. worthwhile. Alright, Icicle. <laughs> Cyrus is gonna defend. We'll break her next turn. Bring it on! Alright, uh... Can't buff yourself at all, so go ahead and poison her. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll save your BP for next turn. We'll still poison her regardless, though. Alright, no. Blizzard break! Yeah, we're not doing a lot of damage. I don't have any freaking dancer skills to get my guys buff, which sucks. All right, please, full of a god, help and don't miss. Good. <laughs> what to do? All right, All right. Respect the veil. Oh, we can put him on uh, Ophelia now, so we'll do that. Take that back. Definitely gonna do that. I'll not be defeated. All right, since I broke you, your thing should be gone now. So we're gonna go ahead and steal some SP. Good. What's I'm glad I do? noticed that's how that works. Up to veil. Here goes nothing. All right. Uh, go ahead and do another amputation. Ha! Good. We're never gonna do like any sort of big damage number to her, are we? <laughs> All because I can't freaking buff my guys. Uh, sucks. But that's how it has to be right now, unfortunately. Get your SP back up. Yes, your SP back up. Next turn, we'll set up four reflex on someone. What to do? You're gonna put another reflect on to your on to Cyrus, actually. I think you'll be more than five. You're seven thousand HP right now, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh. Please keep this for a while, Alpha Osiris, and don't lose it immediately. That'd be great. Okay, good. All right, we to win now. Good. That's yeah, very good. Should we reflect that back at herself occasionally? All right, uh, three reflective veils onto Alpha. No, oh, God. I keep wasting them. I need to stop doing that. I need to pay more attention to what I'm putting them. Why don't we put these ones on Cyrus? Please. Okay, thank you. I'm so All mad right. I keep doing that. I'm so mad I keep doing that. Now, what next? Lightning Blast. Yeah, that's already doing a lot more damage. Here goes nothing. Now you're gonna break. Awesome. Donate your BP, Osiris. For Next you. turn, he'll do the big, big damage, which is very good. My turn now. Uh, go ahead and yeah, just keep setting these up, please. Put one on Tressa. I will reflect your barb. Oh, she's probably put on yourself, actually. But oh, whatever. The logical course of action. You're gonna actually get Lion Dance, Alf, and oh my God! I have done that so many times now. I keep forgetting about the thing, and then... 
I don't know why. I will you. Don't know why I keep doing it. No, it's Bring not gonna it work, but I do it anyway. Uh, I thought I'd poison on her, I guess. Pick your poison. <laughs> Bring it on. Pick your poison. We're just gonna keep doing that. Here I go. All right, donate your VP. Not to Cyrus. He's already has three. Give him to Ophelia. For you. All right, big damage, please, Cyrus. Big damage. There we go. Finally, it's been a while since we got to see those numbers be that big. For Cyrus and his magic damage. Right, effective veils on to Elfin. I will reflect your barb. No patience, right? All right? Only one weakness. Now. If I remember correctly, his weakness is dark, where she only has one left. Which should get hit. Which she should be hit by, thanks to, um. Alphans Reflect. Might only be one, though. Yeah. With two? Alright, that's good. Alright, uh, go ahead and heal us up. Mm, that's worthwhile. Here goes nothing. Uh, just go ahead and abide I'll save your attack up. Here I go. Right, I threw these check. <laughs> Don't need BP probably. Actually, let's do a rest. Your SP back up. <sighs> Run a little low. Great. Right, you need to work on breaking her. So if you do a moonlight waltz. And next turn we can break her. Or I guess the turn after that, because you're going to last next turn, Cyrus. So I'll have you defend and break her then. Alright, gonna go ahead and heal more. So we get trust to get above for max health again. Everyone else full. That way we can't be killed, hopefully. Good. Go. Uh, go ahead, throw another poison on her. Pick your poison. Here I go. You're gonna go ahead and donate your BP to Ophelia. For you. I suppose you're giving the Cyrus. So I look at it. Oh well. What is the logical course of action? Defend. Not. All right. Uh, it's more on poison. This will last longer. Pick your poison. And then we are going to Moonlight Waltz. Alright. <laughs> Here I go. Don't need BP to Cyrus. For you. So we'll have Max for next turn. Here we go. Or he would have had Max for next turn anyway, but whatever. Alright, do not miss. Do not miss. Alpha, do not miss. Alright, good. Almost the max damage there. Awesome. Love to see it. Alright, go ahead. Reflect a veil on to. Sorry. Alphan. We don't know. I feel like you'll need it more. Bring it on. Alright, go ahead and. Yeah, let's keep doing that. Let's keep doing amputation. You're not missing it, so I'm trusting you to actually be able to hit her with it now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, she's going three times. Next turn in a row. It's really bad. Alright, reflect the veil. Cyrus. You have four of them. Ophelia. Reflect the veil. Yourself. Alright, let's see what happens. Unless we get patience, please? Yes, good. Alright, we're actually going to put this one onto Elfin as well. I think Tress will be okay with her health pool, with her good, decent magic defense. Alright, back to this set. Everyone else I'm more concerned about. Alright, he's doing some good damage with the flex there. 
My god. Alright, we're good. We are good. Alright, I have not tried this yet, so let's try it. Oh, she's the red. Oh, she's weak to it. Alright, I'm glad I found that. Alright, uh, go ahead and do Blizzard. Go ahead and set up our uh, reflective veil on Alfin. The longer you stay alive, the better. Especially since now I know she's weak to spears right now, which is amazing. Uh, shoot, hold on. Actually, he's gonna run out of SP. If he's using that, so give him some SP before he can run out. Probably do the same thing with Cyrus too. All right, uh, the bells onto Alvin. Just making sure he stays alive. All right, I forgot about that move. Okay, good. Well, Ophelia, you're gonna go ahead and heal. Heal us up, please. I barely got to trust over a max. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot! Alright, there goes that. That's very unfortunate. Blizzard. Right, I'm actually have Alfin defend in case he can actually break her with his spear attack this turn here. Otherwise, Cyrus will break her on his own. No, okay, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Alfin. I'm actually have you just donate BP to Ophelia and I have her give four reflective veils onto herself, so I don't have to worry about her getting killed hopefully no. anytime soon. Not that I should anyway, because this is gonna break her right now. Yeah, she's in the red health now. We were doing a lot better than we did the last attempt. Uh at least that and definitely better than the last on screen attempt. I will reflect your barb. That is also quite true. Okay, throw another reflective veil onto Cyrus. I will reflect your barb. <laughs> My turn now. And I'll throw one onto Tressa now. I will reflect your barb. Alright, right, go ahead and use your amputation. Right. Here I go. Well, I might as well, 100%. 40,000, I'll take that. <laughs> Please die. Yes! Oh, that was very well timed. Awesome. You should have studied harder. We did it. And we got a couple people up to 5,000 now for their divine skills. Oh my god. <laughs> Refreshing jam. Yes, the best item. But most importantly, unto thee who has proven thy worth, I impart the lost secrets of the heavens. We get the star seer job. And these new jobs, not only are they better, but they're more expensive too. So you better believe we're teaching trust of this stuff first. All right, so we have shooting stars deals wind, light and dark damage to all foes. Allow a single ally to gain 2 BB per turn. Increase a single ally's critical hit rate for 2 turns. Augment a single ally's physical defense, elemental defense, speed, and evasion for 2 turns. For 2 turns, render a single foe unable to receive attribute augmentations or a single ally immune to attribute penalties. Grant HP, regen for everyone. And grant a single ally ability to counter physical damage. And then some other crazy move that we don't have access to right now. We're gonna get Moon's Reflection, Regen, uh, which one of these? Probably Star Song. Oh, I already got what I wanted on this. A uh, hard worker is very good because. More job points for everyone. 
And you can start one where VP and Boost start too. I don't think Trusta is going to be our primary star seer. I don't really see that happening. Hold on. But I do want to get these learned so we have what the. So we know what the job skills are. The sport skills, rather. Uh, I guess divination. No. Yeah, divination. All 2000, actually. They have not been going up at all. BP Eater. And then Divine Aura. Unleash an elemental attack on all foes deals damage portion of the party, party's current BP. So if you stockpile your BP and then use this, you can do massive damage with that, basically. And this gives us 25% 25 chance to not take damage. And this does boost the skills performed by equipping character, deal additional damage. So when you spend your BP, you do even more damage, which is wild. So yeah. Tressa is now even more broken than she was before. <laughs> that is going to do it for this episode. Next time, we will be getting into Duskborough to do Cyrus' Chapter 4. Hope you all a wonderful time, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.